She asked when Chariot was coming out. Yay, who knows about Chariot? Dude, not enough people. I know you guys do. Okay, so Chariot, thank you for asking. You're awesome. Okay. We can be friends. Uh, Chariot is a feature film that I wrote and produced that we shot in January. And I get to go back home and watch the first cut of the film on Monday. So the movie is finished being edited. And... Wow, we have a screen right there, don't we? Oh, uh, well. I wanted to show the trailer here, but uh, we didn't have all of the equipment to make that happen. So I apologize for that. However, what you can do, get out your pens, or record it. Most of you are probably recording this anyway. Don't worry about it. It'll be on the internet and Googles and stuff. Go to chariotmovie.com. And you can see the trailer for the film. Uh, the movie is about seven strangers who wake up on a plane in mid-flight with no idea how they got there. And the United States is being destroyed beneath their feet with nuclear weapons. They are completely cut off from the ground, completely cut off from the cockpit. They have no idea what's going on, how, when, or where their plane is going to land, or why any of this is happening. And they've got to figure out how to survive. The entire movie takes place inside of a 727. Thank you very much. Beginning to end. It was a challenge. I have a friend of mine who works at a television studio in Dallas. And they had a 727 fuselage sitting on their parking lot. And he said, hey, Eric, we have a 727 fuselage sitting on the lot. Write a movie that takes place inside of a plane. Uh, I went, okay. So I wrote a movie. It takes place inside of a plane. And we're done, almost. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Uh, it stars a guy named Anthony Montgomery, who played uh, uh, Ensign Travis Mayweather in Star Trek Enterprise. And it also stars uh, Ian Sinclair, so you know, and Brina Valencia. So... Y'all should check it out, chariotmovie.com. And to answer your question, it's going to come out this fall. It's uh, going to be available in retailers around the country. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which ones yet, but we do have distribution in North America. So you will be able to get it on DVD, Blu-ray, I think, and you will also be able to get it video on demand and uh, all the kinds of places that you would find any other movie. So look for it in September-ish. Uh, between September and October, that's our window. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, that's the movie. Okay, thanks. Um, okay, hold on. Really, Dr. Who? <laughs> At my panel? <laughs> I can't hear it. what. It's my friend's birthday. He's pretty funny. Can you sing to him? You want me to? You want me to sing? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will. If you can tell me in what anime I've ever sung in, oh. I'll get back to you. It's an easy answer. I've already got it in my head. And I'm stupid. <laughs> okay, uh, 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 there's a lot of people over here. I'm going to go into Blondie. Huh? Sorry, no, no. And I asked Doctor Who for the answer. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, know your name is, happy birthday to you, Greg, you're 20 and I'm old. <laughs> what song do you want to hear? Anything by Rush. Sure.